Hi people, this is Nelly again. Okay, today I'm going to give a rant. Um, I hear a lot of people that doesn't know jack crap about Puerto Rico. And they talking their mouth off. Hello? You know, they're coming over here saying, Oh, Puerto Rico is, so, is dying of hunger. We ain't dying of hunger. The only one who's in deep crap is the government. They have taken... They're the ones who has the big problem. Okay, whoever works for the government is like I told my husband. I don't want you working for the government. Because every four years, they want to kick you out. They kick you out. As simple as that. So why would I want him to risk that? You know? Okay, so the thing is, they say, oh, they don't know English. No, no, they don't know none of that stuff. They cannot become a state because they don't know English. Hello, most of our young kids are in the United States. And they know English. You know, maybe the elder, elder ones don't. And, mo and a lot of elder do know English. You know, so don't come out with this that, oh, we don't know English, we can't do this, we can't do that. Puerto Rico gets half of what, of what Mississippi gets. The, how you call it, the poorest um, state in the, in the United States, Mississippi. Half of what they got. And you could, if you come to Puerto Rico, you could see the difference of how we used to live years ago in the 50s, how we live today. We don't have, um, the majority don't have wooden houses no more. We have pure cement with rods in our house. And I'm one of them. If a hurricane comes to Puerto Rico, the majority of us don't suffer loss in the house. Unless a big tree falls on it or whatever. But we, go, we could go through, we could go through all this and still, and still become, become a state. First of all, kids do get educated. The UPR did not protest all this time because of the money that we're going to take from them. None of that crap. What they protest, this is a group of independence kids that they believe in independence. And what they pissed off is Rosselló is pro-American, pro-statehood. That's all it is. Every time that there's a pro-statehood in Puerto Rico... They always protest. Always. They make a big scenery. And they protest for whatever the heck it is. It always been like that. And I'm always in favor that the United States should start taking the funds off of these people. If they want to protest, then protest with their own money. You know. Because not all the, the college was protesting. It's just this little selective UPR. You know, but if you go to any other college, like my daughter did, you know, um, they don't have that problem. They have rules and regulations. Okay, so I don't see why they're saying that Puerto Rico is dying, you know, Puerto Rico is this, is that. There's a lot of people who lost their job, mainly because they worked for the government, mainly because they had uh, the company when, um, how you call it, they lost their job. But there's always um, people this has, you know, and if you know how to handle the situation, you could go through it. You could go through it. You could go fix it. But you got the Independence Party. My God, you got the Independence Party. They say, we want independence for Puerto Rico. But then the state's working. Now, come on, give me a break. You know, let's be serious about the situation. The P the PPD, which is ELA or whatever, Estado Libre Asociado, whatever they want to call themselves. They're just a bunch of independents, a few statehoods, and one that is in the middle, they don't know what the heck they want. That's what it is. They are not settled down to say something. This is why they boycott it. Because if they don't boycott it, the independents are going to vote for independence. The free association state was going to vote for the free association. And the statehoods will vote for the statehood. Who's going to stay in the, in the popular party? Nobody. Just the two or three who doesn't know how, what to do with, the, with this. You know, they stayed or they this or they that. So, uh, I, I, you know, I tell the people, free, first learn what the heck Puerto Rico is all about. Then comment. 
But I hear these comments that they don't know jack crap. I got this Philippine guy saying, oh, um, uh, they don't know English, so they should be independent. What? Give me a break. You know, uh, it's totally nonsense. Totally nonsense. You know, because even my daughter, who my granddaughter, who's five years old, she's starting to learn English too. If the parents don't want to teach them, don't want to help them, that's another problem. That's another thing. Because the independents, people who are independents, they sure know they're good English. Yes. And they sure got their professional. Yes. But then they keep try to keep the, the people in a low, low situation. So they don't get too smart and realize what is going on in Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. And I get a lot of criticism. Because I participate a lot in the radio. I get a lot of criticism. Because I'm trying to open the eyes to the Puerto Ricans. We cannot keep on this. You know, we have to start deciding what we're going to do. You know, stop being a coward. Either you, if you want independence, oh, you're too good. You're a, a full, proud Puerto Rican. Well, get independence. Get away from the Americans. And support yourself. But if you... Believe in, in statehood, you know, you believe in what the American has done for Puerto Rico and everything. Because, hey, we have, we have given our people to the war, okay? We have given doctors to you guys. We have given everything. We don't have no more to give. So, you know, and thanks to the, how you call the robbers of the government, they also taking a whole bunch of our money too. <laughs> we just got seven people, eight people arrested. For, uh, how you call it, for federal fraud. Yes, federal fraud. Just the other day, just two days ago. Over $10 million and they expect more because one of those guys, they were working all over the place. They were working in every single part of the government. How did that happen? And not in this government. Let me make it clear. Not this government. The governor who was before. How did that happen? By magic and then nobody noticed? You know, this is how they do to Puerto Ricans. And we can start gonna have to start opening our eyes. Heck with these people who say, Oh, you gotta know English oh this. We are American citizens and that's that. And we are proud American citizens. So I say USA, okay, for Puerto Rico. Have a nice day.